In this video, we are going to talk about 9 key ratios every fundamental analyst should know. In the world of fundamental analysis, there are several ratios an investor can analyze to make an investment decision. By applying these ratios, you can become a well-informed investor. Let's look at the 9 most important ratios which every fundamental analyst should know. Number 1. Return on Assets yani ki ROA ROA measures a company's ability to generate income from its assets. Matlab company A ke paas 100 crore rupay ke assets hain aur uska profit hai 5 crore aur company B ke paas bhi same 100 crore rupay ke assets hain par wo profit banati hai 10 crore rupay ka. To company B achhi hui na? Higher ROA reflects better efficiency of a company at generating profit. Number 2. Return on Equity yani ki ROE Return on Equity measures a company's ability to generate income relative to its shareholders' equity. Both ROA and ROE are expressed in percentage terms. If the ROE is 10%, it means the company can generate rupees 1 in profit for every rupees 10 of shareholders' equity. Higher the ROE, the better it is. So, ideal ROE kya hai? Agar ROE 10% ya usse upar hai, to it is considered good. Number 3. Profit Margin Profit margin ye batata hai ki company ne sales pe kitna profit banaya hai in percentage terms, generally we see company's net profit margin. Dekhte hai. It is measured as the net profit divided by the revenue and then multiplied by 100. Profit margin varies across industries. Generally, 20% and above is considered good. Number 4. Earnings per share yani ki EPS Earnings per share means company ne per stock kitna earning kiya hai. For example, if the EPS is rupees 2, it means that the shareholders of the company have made rupees 2 for every share they own. EPS is used with other ratios such as PE to estimate a company's intrinsic value. Number 5. Current Ratio Current ratio provides insights into a company's ability to pay short-term obligations using only its current assets. The number in the current ratio indicates how many times the current liabilities of a company can be covered by its current assets. A current ratio above 1 indicates that the company has more current assets than current liabilities. Current ratio varies depending on the industry. However, a ratio between 1.5 and 3.0 is generally considered healthy. Number 6. Debt to Equity yani ki DE Debt to equity ratios measures a company's debt relative to its equity. This shows how much leverage a company uses and whether shareholders' equity can cover debt liabilities. For example, a debt to equity ratio of 2 means a company's debt is twice as much as equity. Although it varies from industry to industry, most experts consider a DE ratio under 1 as healthy. Number 7. Price to Earnings yani ki PE Price to Earnings ratio compares a stock's market price to its earnings per share yani ki EPS. PE ratio hume ye batata hai ki how much an investor has to pay for each rupee of earnings. For example, a PE ratio of 10 means an investor has to pay rupees 10 for every rupees 1 of earnings generated by the company. Generally speaking, high PE companies are considered to be overvalued or are said to have high growth potential. Meanwhile, low PE companies are considered undervalued. A PE ratio ka istamal kisi company ko uske peers se compare karne ke liye ya relative valuations ke liye bhi kar sakte hain. If the PE ratio is below the industry average, the stock is undervalued. If the value is above the industry average, the stock is overvalued. Number 8. Price to Book yani ki PB Price to Book ratio compares a stock's current market price to its book value per share. 
the book value of a company is nothing but equity minus liabilities or what the final worth of the company will be if it is liquidated. For example, a PB ratio of 2 means an investor has to pay rupees 2 for every rupees 1 of book value. PB is commonly used to evaluate banking stocks. Number 9. Dividend Yield Ratio Dividend Yield Ratio indicates ki company kitana dividend deti hai compared to its stock price. Matla for every rupee of stock price, investor ko kitna dividend mila. For example, if the dividend yield is 10%, investors receive rupees 1 for every rupees 10 of shares they own. Investors considering stocks for regular income should look for a dividend ratio between 3% to 5%. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.